Why are you here? You're here to outwork. You're here to outtrain. You're here to win. Princeton coach Chris Ayers had a pretty good showing today. Can you tell me a little bit about your thoughts about the team after the Open? Um, we were a little tight, tight in the earlier rounds, and I think that's pretty typical with the first tournament, kind of get, getting the cobwebs out a little bit. But I think as the tournament went on, some guys started to feel a little bit more comfortable on the mat. Yeah. And so then we saw, I think we had a little bit better results a little bit, a little bit later on. I think we're in great shape, too. Uh, I think this is probably the best shape we've been in. Um, at this time of year since I've been here. Um, Looks like it to me. Yeah, yeah, we were in great shape. So I think while the other guys were maybe getting tired from the tournament, I actually think our guys were feeling feeling better as yeah. the day went on. So yeah. Good. It looked like that in the Brucky match yeah, just there. Definitely. He's so sure. what'd you have, five champs today? Uh, well D'Angelo's on a year off. Right. So, you know, yeah, he's he's a glory. D'Angelo. Brucky. Brucky. Yeah, Parker. Three. Parker, that's right. Parker. He was four. Four? Four, yep. Four. All right. Um, yeah, four. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. And then also you had Klazik in the uh, Classic yeah. this week. You yeah. got your first ah. win there. Yeah, that was cool. It was a good event. Um, you know, it's always nice to be invited to that. And then we wrestle anyone anywhere. I think a lot of the other coaches, like him and Han, who they're going to wrestle, we're, we're just yes. We want to wrestle good people. We're not protecting any number one rankings. And he went out there and he wrestled. He actually wrestled a really good match. He's he's usually a little tight in the beginning of the year, too, yeah. historically. Um, yeah. You know, he went into the NCAA seat at 11 because he had some not great losses. Yeah. And he took third last year. So he's, he's made a big jump. Made a big jump. Yes. Looks like the team... You know, is, I know D'Angelo is not yeah. on the team this year, or is not enrolled this year, but you got a lot of talent on the team. Yep. Um, tell me a little bit, is Stefanik, was he here today? Yeah, no, he did great. He uh, he took third, third? Okay. with a uh, takedown in the last seconds, actually. Um, he's really good. Uh, we have a good core, of core group of freshmen. Yeah. Obviously, Pat Glory. I don't know. We'll talk about him a little bit later, but, <laughs> yeah. but uh, Travis is really good. Um, and I told him he's an amazing athlete. I said, you've got to make it a little bit more crazy because then your athleticism kicks in. Um, but he had a great tournament for a freshman. One loss, uh, good match against a nationally ranked kid. He was in the match. So I'm really I'm really happy with his performance. And Glory, that was a pretty tough weight class. Yeah, really you get a pin in the finals against Tropea. I mean, I think he... He got bonus points every match. All the, all the way through? Yeah. I mean, he's a hammer. He's a special kid. Uh, you never know when you get a recruit come in to the program. You don't, You never know if they're going to yeah. you know, materialize to what they, they project to be. And he's beyond what we anticipate. He's a hard worker? Uh, he's the best. I mean, you know, uh, and I don't think anyone would argue this from the team. You know, Kolodzik is the hardest worker on the team. He comes in the most. And now we've got someone who's challenging. Pushing him. Yeah, definitely. So, nice. Pat Glory earned that. Uh, we knew coming into this, we knew what he was capable of. Yeah. And he showed it. For It'll sure. be a wake up call for some people seeing him uh, on the national every, scene. Everybody, everybody's on notice now. Yeah. Like, he, this kid is special. He's special. Brucky, last match. Yeah, great Pretty, match. He's never beaten that kid. They, they go right, back to high school. In he Illinois, lost, right? Yeah, Illinois. Lost kid, the, I recruited that kid too. He's a great really? kid. He's a good wrestler too. Um, and so. It was a great match. He, I think he, he felt like he wanted to prove something, you know, yeah. and I think it's a, it's a situation where it's Princeton versus Stanford. And yeah. That's a big recruiting battle. And, Without and a doubt. Pat, that's a, that's, and that's in Pat's mind. That's how he thinks. That's yeah. why he's a sophomore captain. Yeah. He thinks beyond, like, hey, I want to win this. He's like, this is our rival in recruiting as well, and I've lost to this kid twice, so maybe I can show that I've improved a lot here. And I think that's, that's, what, the, that's what it showed in that match. I love his attacks. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Parker. Parker... I'm, I'm most, I am infinitely most happy. I don't know if that's, is, is that even anything? Infinitely most happy with Parker. You know, he's he's had a tough couple years and it was, and it's all been, you know, he's had the skills. Um, it's interesting, this isn't gonna sound good for us, but this summer he like went home. Okay. He went to the OTC and he did some different things. He got away from here. And, and, and I'm for like whatever whatever is good for a kid. And I thought it would be good for him. He needed to get away from here a little bit. Came back, new perspective. He's had a great fall. I'm so happy with him. I, yeah. I hugged him. I said, welcome to D1 Wrestling. Because in wrestling, from my experience, 
your your progression isn't like this, right. you know, or like that. Right. It's a rocky road. road. It's uh, you know, he's you know, you make well, a big jump. Road. You'll be going along and you make a big. Sometimes you're going down and you make a big jump. Yeah. And so uh, today was that jump for him. Um, he's been doing it in the room and he knew he he had kind of overcome some anxiety stuff. Basically, he's just trying to win. Now he's trying to dominate. I think he tacked the guy. I don't know. I was on some other mat. I was, yeah, I was not on the mat. I didn't yeah, get so, to see so it. I, so was... I think he tacked the guy in the front. Yeah. I think he gave up the first takedown. And then I think came what back. I heard was... That's like, it. He tilted him. He tilted him like uh, three or four times in a row. Not tilted him. Leg crush. Yeah, crush him. Uh, so um, I'm really happy. He, ne he needed that because um, he is really good. He just wasn't wrestling to his potential because he was holding himself back. So... Yeah. We got that situation at 65 right now with Dale Towns, and he's really, really, really good. He's just being tight. And it's funny, the last period and a half of the last match, he broke through. Wow. He had a beautiful breakthrough. He started just wrestling and scoring points. Uh, the whole first half of the match was a snore fest. He wasn't doing anything. The other kid wasn't doing anything. And then he started going, and what happens? He, 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 he wins, wins pretty easily. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm proud of the guys. I mean. Um, we, had a, we had one injury with Ty Gazy that has been stuck in my head all day. I didn't see it. Yeah, this kid is amazing. Um, I just feel so bad like I, I get even choked up about it just because he's always getting hurt and I, I, I'm, mm. I'm still stuck with that. Even yeah. though we had all this success, yeah. I got one kid who really doesn't deserve to you know, get hurt. He does everything right, so my head's with him, my heart a little bit. Right now, I've been walking around all day just trying to coach, but... I don't know, that bothered me. That is it a serious injury? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, right. but he's, you know, it's like, he, the kid has been through everything. So anyway. Right. So is this, is this the second year of the Open? Third second year? year. Second yeah. year. I mean, this is like, looks like a, yeah. I mean, you got a lot of people coming here. Oh, yeah. A lot of talent. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, the, the couple reasons, first of all, I have to give credit to, uh, to Sean Gray. I don't really do anything for this thing. Yeah. This is his baby. Last year, it became out of the All-Star Classic because yeah. with the All-Star Classic, yep. they were like, hey, you know what? Like, if a team is gonna bring a guy, let's give an open to him the day before yeah. so they could bring the whole team and then they could watch their guy totally. wrestle. I thought that was a great idea. You guys, are, you guys are in Princeton for a reason. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. so are... anyway, so Ohio State did that, yeah. a couple other teams, so that's how it started. The other reason it started is that we were at some tournament three years ago that ended at midnight. <laughs> and I swore at that moment, Never and again. I can't leave. Like if we have match, teams left. Yeah. Like and they still had matches left. I'm like, we're staying. We got matches. We're well, wrestling. It wasn't the ESU yeah. Open, was it? No, no, no. Right. no it was another right. open. Not, to not be named. Nameless. I think they, I think Nameless. they fixed it actually yeah. since that year. Uh, okay. But to be honest, we don't make any money on this thing. It actually costs us money. Yeah. But it's cheaper than going to like the Southeast Open. And what time is it? Let me see. Uh, Six oh five. Five oh five. Oh five oh five. No one changed that yeah. clock. Daylight that's savings. awesome. So that's the whole reason we do this. We cap it. Yeah. Uh, and you say like no more. This ends at it was supposed to be six thirty, but a little less showed yep. up. So I'll be home for dinner. Awesome. <laughs> one last question for you. Yeah. One of your coaches got drafted in the uh, AD, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nate, Nate Jackson. Jackson yeah. Did he give you any of his signing bonus? <laughs> no, he, <laughs> no. They 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 earned all that money. They for did. Sure. Yeah. They, and we got two guys from NJRTCs are alternates too. Dude, that's so right. Josh Kindig and then um, someone else. Oh, Pat Downey. Pa oh, so, that's it. So that's cool. How's Downey working out? He's great. He's he, he wants to be good, you know, and it's, it's been good. Um, and so we're just okay. keeping him keeping him going. If yeah. we, you know, we got Reese though. I mean, we have an engine. We have a we have a coach for the team. So yeah. yeah. All his attention is on these extra yeah. uh, not extra guys. I got you. Say, senior guys. Senior guys. Yep. And so it's a real thing for these guys. They're not some. Our senior level guys are not some accessory to the college program. Yeah, right. We haven't we have an RTC. We want to create Olympians, Olympic champions. That's the whole map. Our, our really our college guys serve <laughs> serve right. the senior level guys yeah. to be honest with you. And they get better in the process of course, but um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Hey coach, thanks for the time. Thanks man, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I'll see you next time.